Like, what? What are we doing? This is just stupid, stupid, and stupid. And every college football fan, they agree with me. It's Monday, man, and most of y'all know this. Mondays are my absolute favorite day of the week because most people out here, they hate Mondays. And since they hate them, they tend to be sluggish. And if everybody else is sluggish on Mondays and I dominate, it makes the rest of the week that much easier. So I hope all of you out here are dominating in your everyday life as well. And I am super excited because this week is the first week back. Well, we had week zero, but that was like the appetizer. This week, week one, is the first week back of college football. We're super close, and I low-key forgot that Florida and Utah, they're going to be playing on Thursday. And that's a little foreshadowing here because we'll talk about them in just a second. But the main topic of today's video is this right here. College football fans, they are already furious. I'm sure a small portion of you know what I'm talking about, but for the vast majority of you, you probably have no idea what's going on. To give you some context to the situation, you would have had to tune in to week zero. And actually, I low-key forgot about this as well. We implemented some big-time rules in the offseason. We talked about it on the channel, but I guess I just forgot they went into effect. And these rules are already changing the game drastically, at least in my humble opinion, and that was clear and evident on Saturday. A lot of people out here, they don't like it, and I'll be upfront and frank with all of you at the beginning of this video. I don't like it either. I stated it months ago, and they approved this rule that I wasn't going to like it, and yeah, I confirmed that thought in theory on Saturday. And as you can see right here, a lot of people are saying stuff like this. If I wanted to watch the NFL, I would have watched the NFL, and I agree. When you really think about it, our game that we've come to love and know the most is college football. It's turning into the NFL JV. We're now paying guys, there's now free agency, and now the rules are very similar as well. We're going to talk all about that. Also, got to ask you guys a couple of questions about some video ideas this week leading up to Saturday. I really want to know your guys' thoughts down below, but yeah, the premise of this video is relatively simple. Want to make it short and sweet. All right, Matt, blah, blah, shit, crap, but now that Friday, don't. Let's get into it. First things first, this has nothing to do with football, but I do want to share a story. On Friday, I went golfing with a couple of my buddies. And if you golf, you already know, we was coming up to that par three that has water in front of the hole. I don't even know if you can see it on the video. I'll show you the video in just a second. But I told my buddy, you know what? I'm feeling good. I feel like, and I think I'm going to hit a hole in one. I'm calling my shot. So I told him that, and little did I know, he winds up recording it. I think it was playing 142 to the pin. I think that was the total distance. And yeah, I'll show you the clip for yourself. Matt wrote a clip. As y'all heard at the end there, or maybe you didn't hear me, I said, that might go in, and it dang near did. I don't know if some of y'all saw the ball at the end of the video. I'll try to slow it down, maybe show you a picture, go frame by frame, but it's right beside the flag. That's where you could really see it again in the video. Here, I'll just show you this right here. I'll zoom in on a picture. You see that little white dot that I got circled? It's right above the flag. That's the ball. And I'll show you the video right here. You can see a little white ball coming down if you're looking right behind the flag. It was dead center, and that's why I said it might go in. It hit. The divot was about four to five feet right behind the pin. And then it rolled out to maybe eight or nine feet. But yeah, it was one of my best shots on Friday. And you already know I missed my birdie putt. But hey, it is what it is. I'll never be mad about a par. Yeah, that's it though. I don't know. Maybe I'll start sharing like one swing of the day once a week with y'all. Let me know if y'all want to see that in the comment section. But I know you are not here for golf. I already know some of you are sitting there saying, Matt, shut the crap up. We don't care about your golf game. Let's talk about football. I know, I know. Well, first things first, before we just jump into why everybody's pissed off, let me ask you guys another question. If you've been keeping up with the channel for the past year, year and a half now, you would know that we do our previews, our well, I was about to say recaps, but we do our previews on Thursdays. Everybody knows that. Previews on Thursdays, recaps, they're on Sundays. Well, I was sort of thinking since Florida and Utah play on Thursday, would y'all like to see me do just a separate video dedicated to Florida and Utah maybe tomorrow or Wednesday, something like that? Well, let me know in the comment section. Maybe we do that tomorrow if that's something y'all guys want to see. And who else plays on Thursday? I know there's got to be another good game. I don't believe there's any other top 25 teams playing, but I know there's more games. Yeah, we got Nebraska at 7 p.m. Man, that's going to be a good game seeing what Matt Rule can do in his first year. There are Nebraska and Minnesota. They play Thursday as well. Now that I think about it, should we do two 
preview videos we could do a part one on like tuesday or wednesday and then the part two we'll do it on thursday as well let me know we might need to do that because i don't want to upload a preview on the florida and utah game at 4 p.m on thursday when they kick off at 7. that would just be dumb and i'm really excited for that florida and utah game because it's gonna be crazy it was crazy last year with anthony richardson but i still think it's gonna be crazy this year i'm not high on florida whatsoever but I expect them to put up a good fight. And I would not be shocked if Florida winds up winning the game and they shock the world. Am I picking Florida to win this game? Not so fast. We'll say that for the preview. We'll see what happens. Let me know how you think we should do the previews. But now finally, moving on to the main topic, the main encore, the main reason quitting to this video. What is going on in the college football world? So it all started with this. Geoff Swartz tweeted this out, and I gotta give him a ton of credit because I didn't even think about this till I saw this tweet right here. It was trending all over Twitter. It currently has over 5 million views. He said, 12 plays and half the quarter is gone after one drive, just like the NFL. Congrats on the new clock rules in college football, something everyone wanted. Thanks. If you couldn't tell at the end there when he was like, hey, congrats on the new clock rules in college football, something everyone wanted. Thanks. He was being sarcastic. Because in reality nobody wanted that i remember saying this months ago and everybody in the comment section they was in the same boat as me i'll just use this as an example because y'all know i'm an alabama fan when alabama plays on saturday those three hours during the alabama game that is my escape from reality sometimes it's three and a half hours but i think the average college football game the duration of a game last year was three hours and 21 minutes so therefore when alabama plays for three hours and 21 minutes that is my escape from reality it's a hard world out there. Life is hard. Everybody knows that. So no, I don't want the game to be shortened. That game on Saturday is one of the best things in my life. It's what I look forward to the most. And yet, you want to implement a rule to shorten the games because they're too long. No, obviously, I'm personally not a fan of that. I wish there were eight quarters in a game. I wish the games lasted seven hours. I wish the college football season ran from August through July. Obviously, that's not realistic, but you get my exaggerated point. I don't want the game shortened, and I never heard anybody that ever stated, oh man, I wish this game would hurry up and wrap up and end. I don't think anybody watching that Alabama-Tennessee game last year was sitting there going in the fourth quarter, oh man, I'm just ready for this game to be over with. It's too long. Like, what? What are we doing? This is just stupid, stupid, and stupid. And every college football fan, they agree with me. But anyways, I need to lock back in here, get back on track, because I'm going on a rant. The rules got implemented in the summer, and a lot of people like me, they probably forgot about them, because I did, I'll be honest. I forgot about them, but after watching Notre Dame's first drive, before this tweet, before I saw it, I was looking at the clock, and I was like, dang, they're eating up a bunch of clock. Keep in mind, I didn't even think about them implementing that new rule. And I'll tell you the rule in just a second if you have no idea what it is. And then that's when I saw this tweet by Geoff Schwartz where he was like, yeah, 12 plays in and half the quarter, it's gone. And it was, that Notre Dame game, it flew by. Let me give you some more context for those of you that aren't familiar with the new rules. I don't know how to dumb this down any more than this. College football now has the NFL rules when it comes to first downs. You know how last year and all throughout your life pretty much in college football, when you get a first down, the clock stops until you set the chains. However, if you watch the NFL when you get a first down the clock does not stop keeps on running unless you go out of bounds or something like that well now in college football same rules you get a first down in college football clock does not stop unless I am misinformed on this the only time it stops is under two minutes to go in the game actually my apologies it's the last two minutes of each half so under two minutes to go in the second quarter clock will stop after first down same thing in the fourth quarter but still outside of that we're pretty much in the NFL and I'm gonna pop up a bunch of comments not even gonna read off all of them I'll show you and you can read them for yourself but check out this comment I really like this one because he's right fundamentally changing the way the game is played just to cram a few more ads in and yep that's 100 right let me talk about that because i know some of you may be wondering well matt why did they want to shorten the game why are they doing this what have i said all throughout with this conference realignment with the nil with this or that money runs the world and if you think it doesn't run the world you need to wake up to reality and since money runs the world yeah it's also going to run college football it runs everything Every decision, almost every decision made in this life by every single person has something to do with money. The only reason they implemented this is so they can put in more ads and more ads generates more revenue, revenues, money, blah, 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 blah. Don't want to dive into this dark pit, but you know where I'm going with this. Let's just keep it short and simple. Money runs the world. Money runs college football. It's one of the best businesses out there. Same reason why Oregon and Washington and USC and UCLA and all these Pac-12 schools, they left. 
because of money. Getting back on track here, I also saw this on Twitter from Brett McMurphy. He tweeted out, do you like college football's new clock rule? Not stopping on first downs? And a majority, 56%, said no. And here's something I also want to address. Somebody replied to it and said this, and it also got over 25 likes, which just blows my mind. It's wonderful. Faster games, faster actions. Teams playing with more desperation. Ball control is now a better strategy. I get to watch more games quicker. Action, 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 action. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I'm just going to come out and say it. In 2023, I think at least 10% of the people that consume this entertainment, they have ADHD. Look at this tweet. You can't tell me this person doesn't have ADHD. And it's the same thing. Sometimes I'll see people comment. I'll make a 10-minute video, and you'll have people in the comment section say, Hurry up! Get to the point! you have people comment, Hurry up, man! The main topic's supposed to be Florida. Why are you talking about Alabama? Dude, if you can't sit through a 10-minute video... You got some problems. I will never apologize for not getting to the point in a 10 minute YouTube video. It's just nowadays people have gotten used to that. I think TikTok's really ruined it for people. If they don't have constant entertainment every 10 to 15 seconds, they're done. And trust me, I get it. I can empathize with this tweet. I like action as much as the next person, but can you not just sit back, enjoy a nice meal, smoke some ribs? do something and enjoy a football game and i don't even understand how you can say there's not constant action in football games in general because that's all it is here's the last tweet i'm gonna show you and it got over 50 likes and i think it's a good one to end on nobody wants less football couldn't agree anymore i also want to address this before we end out the video since we're not going to be stopping the clocks on first downs anymore yes you're not going to have as many possessions so you may see some teams implement some new strategies trying to hold the ball longer will it actually work I don't know about it. We need more of a sample size. We just saw seven teams play with these new rules. And also, is it going to affect the game a lot on a grand scheme of things? No, it's just shortening the game. It's nothing too crazy, but it does impact the game a lot. And maybe some of y'all do like this. I'm curious. Let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about down below. But, uh, roll